This episode is about being unstoppable. The only thing that can stop you in life is yourself. Circumstances, situations, anything going on. Can anything really stop you but yourself? You might say you grew up in certain situations. It's all bullshit. All we have to do is trust ourselves. But that's hard to really, really do. So what is stopping us? Maybe we got blockages. Sometimes it's traumas. Sometimes it's... It's never anybody else, but we can blame somebody else. You know, me dealing with my bro who... You know, he's been in and out of psychiatric wards and institutions. He, he might blame parents or blame society. But when you pick up a victim mentality, you're always going to be the victim. So why don't we just cut the bullshit and just take accountability for our lives and know that whatever situation you are in, you manifest it. And as much as it might hurt to say that, can we stop the bullshit? Can we stop the bullshit that we create in our mind? My mind creates some form of bullshit every day. And I have to learn to identify it as bullshit. And then stop myself from believing that. Because once I take away the accountability from myself to make my life what it is, I lose all power. If I say, well, you know, I'm being held back because COVID stopped my travels or I lost all these gigs and all these things. That's true, but so what? I have to get up. And I have to go and do what I need to do. Now, it doesn't mean I need to force myself to do something I don't want to do. But for me, this means I have to live my greatest ambition, no matter what that is. So if my greatest ambition is to sit down and chill, then I got to sit down and chill. And the things that are holding us back are usually programmed forms of escapism. So if it's not lining up with what you think, and something's happening off with your manifestations, our manifestations, then there's something that is a falsehood happening. So how do we address that? Life is always teaching us every single moment, every single second. Like, I don't really want to be even doing this vlog right now, but I know that this is the way. I know this shit is due tomorrow. And I know that the person who I was supposed to record with today had something else to do. And I know I got to get this out with some form of be out today. And I have to. I'm treating this as if I have to. Why? Because this thing that I'm creating, these thoughts that I'm sharing are just the real raw thoughts I have. And in addition to sharing the music and the other stuff you see me posting, this is it. This is what I see. Now... I run a company, Creative Expressions, and I have won grants, and I won a $30,000 grant with Carnegie Hall. Shout out to them, right? And you would think that's the way out, but that's not the way out. These grants are only a temporary way. I have to learn how to manifest and create abundance through my being myself. So it doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing certain things, but I have to see what I'm attracting to bring it to me and hold myself accountable for that. Nothing is going to come to save you. No person is going to come into your life that is going to give you the answers. People are going to come into your life and people are going to go out of your life and things are going to happen and you're going to keep on manifesting things, but nothing is guaranteed. And for me, I can't take any of that for granted. So what do I have to do? I have to show up to the best of my ability and do the best of my possible being to just resonate whatever is my greatest ambition and deepest form of truth in whatever way I see fit. You know, I'm understanding certain things because I see, I see where the world is at and I see that the world needs everybody to tell their story and their truth. Not how they affiliated into something bigger or through a company or got accolades or awards for things. That way is dead. 
I, I won't even say dying. That way is dead to me. So I have certain things that I know work. And then, you know, the idea is, oh, if I say that I've been working with Carnegie Hall, or I've worked with Ted or this, this is supposed to validate me. How the fuck is anything going to validate you except you? Why aren't we valid to ourselves? You know? Why isn't what we have and where we're at enough to keep going to the next level? We've been sold such a mental conditioning crock of shit. And that falsehood has been holding up in this world for a long time. And now it's gone. We got the floor ripped from underneath our feet. And things are going to keep shifting more and more dramatically until we get a hang of this. And just realize it's on us. And we all have to prioritize our self-belief, our self-care, and our self-love. I was talking to my friend Hazel, shout out to him from Internal Creations. And you know, this man has achieved some of the most amazing things in his business and his company. You know? And through that, we had a great talk yesterday about if we don't believe in ourselves and know that we can do this, and we don't take rest, and we don't really just... Do what we need to do as people. Nothing is going to happen. And you're always going to be stuck in that shit that we've always gotten stuck in. And the stuff, the muck that we've always been in. So, how are we going to break that? I don't have the answer for you. But I'll tell you what I do to break it. I go and I get out there and I do whatever, whatever I have to do as long as I'm not harming anybody, to just be myself. If a person don't rock with me, if a person thinks I'm weird, wants me out of their life, then fuck it, the sooner the better. But I have to go and do what I need to do. Why have I been going to these jam sessions and playing the guitar and working on my vocals? Because that's, that's what's in my mind. Why am I meeting people and establishing deep connections and striving to present ideas to them which they might not even give a shit about because that's what's that's that's all I know how to do and that's all I got how someone else reacts to you is none of your business once again as long as you're not deliberately harming somebody or putting someone down so let's get to it let's take accountability for ourselves let's prioritize ourselves let's recognize nothing is going to come and complete us no magic being is going to come and save us. We were given all the ingredients. You have all the ingredients for your success right now. And if you don't see that you have the ingredients for your success and that you're right where you're meant to be, we're delusional. And you got to accept that you're living in a delusional state and accept that your thoughts and your ideas are not matching up with your reality. And that's okay. You can live in that. But when your thoughts, actions, and everything are in alignment, that is instant manifestation. But instant manifestation, and that only comes from when you have the deepest, deepest form of conviction in yourself and the highest form of self-belief. Now, what if you don't have confidence? Then you better start prioritizing working on that and make sure that you do what you need to get that. All of us are just having to live our truth. I'm being confident in my voice and my playing and my skills and what I got because I fucking have to. If I don't do this shit, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna either live a life of what ifs and I can't do that. i rather fail and fail and fail going at what I'm the great, what's my greatest ambition or, you know, that's it. Change something, but that's it. All you can do is look at what is your greatest ambition and go for that. Whether Whatever that looks like. If it means leaving your job, if it means starting a career, if it means just doing anything that you're the most driven to, what's your, your deepest, deepest, deepest wish in life and live that wish it's simple but it isn't easy so what is your greatest wish and how are you living that wish I'm here I'm showing up and I'm following this and I have no idea what's gonna happen 
but I know it's going to work out because this is my greatest ambition. I'm doing everything to face my fears. I'm not comfortable getting in front of these fucking cameras. I'm not comfortable getting in front of these instruments all the time. I'm not comfortable with my voice, but you damn sure believe I'm not going to let that discomfort stop me. I did a meditation today and the other day, which is about just staring at a flame and uh, keeping your eyes open. And the idea is to feel the discomfort and ride with it and allow yourself to reach the point of, you know, when your eyes water and tears come out. And, you know, at first I'm like, hold on, what the fuck is this? But I see the gem in it after doing it twice. Shout out to L for that. Um, that's it. Go through that discomfort, sit in it, sit in your tears, sit in your pain, sit in your fear, and get through it and go through it. So hit me up, let me know what are your fears, what are your thoughts, I was afraid of missing a fucking episode, but I'm out here. Right? Do your best of your ability, show love, show up, follow your greatest ambition, don't need to know how it's going to work out, but just, just do it, just go at it, peace, love.